Dude, hey, they're in their quarterbacks about to fight somebody in the ring. I heard. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! So I, I, I can't you believe right anybody's in. gonna fight who I saw cry on national TV. What a bad look! What a bad look for Carr. Oh <laughs> man! Antonio Brown will fit right in. It, Martavis Bryant. They got the whole gang back. The together. Raiders are so horrible that they made Stephen A. Smith a, a smart, sympathetic character, and that's an almost impossible to do. Anyway, as we'll see, we'll see what the latest twists and turns in that saga are. It's it's every day. It's a new. It's we a new can't thing. even talk draft or anything. Because, like I said, because <laughs> you know we got to listen to what Antonio Brown's doing every day. Yeah, yeah. What what color will his mustache be this this day? Or if Juju was, or we got to hear about Juju being late for Pro Bowl practice. Oh, oh my goodness. It's another, it's another painful subject. Well, Juju has a guy following him around who's ready to criticize him at the drop of a hat, right? That's yeah. that's the problem there. Uh, not, I mean, not so much following him around. I mean, I think he would have definitely gotten tired by now. But Mark, I mean, Mark, what I'm exactly. saying is Mark, Mark Madden is, yeah, yeah he's well, exactly. He's not shape. literally following him around, but he is just like a stalker who's just like ready to pounce. Like, I wonder what Juju thinks of of Matt, and I wonder if he like. I'm sure somebody says, "Hey, dude, um, there's this guy that non is nonstop obsessed with you and talks about you 24 seven. Just FYI, and you know, I wonder what he thinks about that. Yeah, this is getting creepy. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> like, if I'm Juju, I'm like looking around, like the like looking outside, seeing if uh, if Mark Man is hiding in the bushes or something. I, maybe he'll show up as a he'll you know he'll do a internet video where he's dressed up as Madden. Like, that's probably where this is headed. I hope right. he does it, Mark. That'd be very... Listen, Juju, I know you listen to this show. Oh, yeah. Go is Mark Madden for Halloween next year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please. Yes. <laughs> that would be Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Hey, can so... I ask you one more Steelers question? Sure. Before we move on. How did Andrew Luck and Deshaun Watson make it as Pro Bowl alternate quarterbacks? And not Ben Roethlisberger. I would like to know the answer to that question. Well, that's because Ben uh, says mean things on his radio show, and that w- <laughs> that disqualifies him from uh, Pro Bowl consideration. I mean, not, that, not that the Pro Bowl matters to anybody yeah, really I, about anything, but do you want do you want my I, do you want to know why I think that happened? I don't think I think they don't want all, a million questions, a million exactly. questions taken over Pro Bowl uh, media and all this stuff. I about think Tony I, Brown's I, I, that drama. Exactly. I think they either they either declined or or maybe they asked Ben and Ben's like, you know, what, I don't want to deal with this right oh, now because that's, that's all it would be. <laughs> that, right. That's, that's all it would be. I mean, that's I mean, that's that's like like you said, Coach. Instead of the draft, instead of the off season, instead of things that we should be looking for to the future, all we've been talking about since basically the end of December. We're on the three weeks of this now. Is Ben Tomlin. Antonio Brown, Juju. That's it. That's that's dominated the conversation. And Ben is not looking good in this situation. And Tomlin is definitely not looking good in this situation. So, yeah, I'm sure Ben is just wants this all to blow over. Yeah, they didn't even wait for the off season to get for the drama to start. This right, year. they got a head start, which is right. good. good for them. Amazing. It's just it's just amazing. I just want I just want a, a boring team. That wins football games. <laughs> that actually wins football. Yeah, that, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. So, looking at our picks, were am I right, Coach? That you were um, three and zero last week. What was it? Rams plus three and a half. You got you got Rams Keep it up to three and a half, but they won it outright. I had the did I have the over in the Chiefs Patriots? Yes, you did. Uh, or the Chiefs, yeah, the Chiefs and mm-hmm. Patriots, and then I had Wisconsin men's basketball on the money line over Michigan. Yeah, so so you you were three and zero. So if you took winning you money, picks, people, seriously, <laughs> even I went Good two job. and one. My um my my thing was uh was Patriots um Chiefs under. And that was looking real good for three quarters, it and then sure all hell broke loose. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, our guest last week, Ashley, went two and one. So, so if you picked, if you went with any of our picks, you 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 would have made money. So, well, let, let, well I, I went zero and two on my 
AFC uh, conference picks last year, uh, AFC NFC conference game picks last week. So oh, yeah. don't don't make any money off of listening to my picks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, coach. You you let, let's start with yours. All right. So, man, I, let me I want to get up the most current line just so I'm not lying to the people here. All right. So, I'm def, I guess I mean, man, there's no NFL on the slate. I guess there's the Pro Bowl. I mean, if you bet on the Pro you're Bowl, a, I mean, yeah, for, listen, you're a, I'm sorry. Go to jail. Number one, you're a degenerate. If, exactly. If, the Pro Bowl, if it's listen, let me clarify this because if it's anything but the game total, the over, you're, you're a degenerate. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're, you got a serious problem. What's this? How would we such a slide on what the do they total. say? What do they say on those like commercials? Gambling problem? Call one. In, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're betting on the pro bowl, are you, you betting on the pro bowl? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, oh, I gotta be, it, it has to be a gambler's anonymous commercial. Oh, if totally. you're betting on Tuesday night, Mac football, <laughs> you right. call this number. Right. <laughs> True. Man, right. Did I even make a pick there? You have not. No. Okay, so I'll start out. I guess it's all men's. It's it's all going to be college basketball. I mean, I guess there's nothing really else. I'm not going to go NBA. Uh, first pick, Iowa State on the road over Ole Miss. It's a pick them right now. Um, if you can get it a plus one, definitely take that. Um, Kansas getting six against Kentucky. Uh, definitely like that line. I, I don't know why that is what it is. And my third pick, uh, I've been fading them all year. I'm going to go Marquette men's basketball minus two over Xavier. You know, I was actually going to bet on the um, the senior bowl, but that's almost as bad as betting on the pro bowl. So I'm going to do my pick. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are, you, what are you doing betting on a college all star game? Come on, come on. Um, okay, here's so my picks are um, Missouri State getting um, getting six, uh, Louisville getting eleven and a half. There we go. Oh, oh I can't bet against Louisville against Pitt. I man, that's oh. Pitt beat them. What's wrong? Okay, fine. I'm fine. I'll, I, I can't. Oh, I'm think, I'm think, I'm doing just Louisville just on the money line. I can't. I, 11 and a half is a lot anyway. And um, I'll, I'll take a Virginia Tech uh, minus six. All right. Nice. We're going right. to try to win the people some money this weekend. Yeah, right. I will. What do you got? Of course, I'm picking the Pro Bowl. <laughs> yeah. um, here's, yeah. what I, here's what I will say as a degenerate. Um, I heard that it, that the AFC was sabotaged this week because Juju Smith Schuster showed up late. Uh, <laughs> so are you are you going to bet on the number of mascots tackled? <laughs> How about that thing, man? I thought for sure that was a pre-planned thing. He just like tackled the guy. That's a he's just looking for a lawsuit. That guy looked turned around. The, was, that, the, was the whole the dude went to the hospital thing? Was that I think uh, that was uh, a, a joke? They had him in the, in the hospital bed hooked up to machines they had them on fake life support uh I'll, I'll, I'll try i'll try to get a buck out of this guy it's this it's just literally like he's he thought it was the mascot thought it was funny until he turned around and saw an, an nfl player and was like that oh was it's a lawsuit i'm injured that was a that was a pretty nice tackle too it was beautiful and it felt good I mean, everybody in the world was like that'll be a you know a gif that'll be on twitter for for life now you know oh yeah yeah um uh, but I, I mean, I'll, I will, I'll just say this. I don't think the Pro Bowl matters. Anybody really cares uh, about anything. But maybe Juju Smith-Schuster would like to uh, send a little message to, to Mark Madden. So I don't know. The NFC is a 10-point favorite. How can that be? Yeah, I, don't I, don't, it's, uh, I don't get that. As a degenerate, I'm like, I, there's something I'm missing here. Maybe it's they have quarterbacks. You know, they have quarterback depth or something. But I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't think any of that matters. I feel like it's a... Uh, you know, probably closer than a 10 point game. So therefore I'll take the AFC and the 10 points. Um, I will also pick the senior bowl, but only because I wanted to talk about uh, a couple of players that are on the senior bowl to watch. If you're going to watch tomorrow, because watching the game does not make you degenerate for sure. Right. Right. The, the North squad is for some reason, a two and a half point favorite, probably because they have drew lock who now is everybody's favorite quarterback in this draft. But, uh, I got a couple of guys I really liked on the on the South 
team. I like uh, uh, Tyree Brady, the receiver from Marshall, um, a guy who, you know, probably fits sort of the mold of what the Steelers might like to add to their mix, whether they keep Antonio Brown or not. Uh, but And then this running back, Wes Hills, who's also a local guy, uh, played it, transferred to Slippery Rock from Delaware, uh, running back. He's kind of a, you know, taller, longer guy, a little bit overaged. He's 23. But uh, I like uh, those guys to pop a little bit, and I'll take the south and the two and a half points. I like getting points this weekend, apparently. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to pick, can I pick, it's it's not really a game, it's a tournament. Can I can I pick the the NHL uh, All-Star uh, tournament? Sure. Yeah, oh, I, I, you, I guarantee you that's on the card everywhere. Yeah, well, I, it is. I mean, I found, you know, I found odds. The uh, the Pacific Division is the favorite at, at, at uh, plus 200 odds. You guys are more degenerate than I am if you can really translate uh, number odds, line odds into the, <laughs> anything. But I know they're the favorite. Uh, uh, so, so for every 100, you, you know, you bet 100 on them, you win, you get 200 back. Right. So it's like okay. a, they're, they're like a two to one, right? What does it mean? Oh, like no, they're, minus, they're the opposite. They're like a one to two. If it's favorite. like minus yep, one ten, one what does that mean? So a minus one ten. So you gotta you gotta risk one ten to win a hundred. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, let's put it this way: the it's called you got a little juice on there. Ten, it, 10% uh, I, juice. I like the I like the Atlantic, Atlantic put a good on put a good show on last year uh, in this sort of uh, tournament where you have fewer players on the ice. They got a lot of fast guys, especially those Tampa Bay guys. I believe they're in Atlantic, uh, and they are minus one twenty-five. They're the second favorite, but I'll I'll take I'll take Atlantic. Okay. This is just to show what I know. I actually, here's how bad I am. I listened to the hockey tournament <laughs> on the radio last year. How bad? Wow, is that? that is really bad. Uh, when I was driving somewhere and listened to I listened to a hockey all star all star tournament. That's uh, so, one of the lowest things I've ever done in sports. So are you a big hockey nut, nut, Will? I mean, not. I mean, I am primarily, I, you know, I grew up in Pittsburgh. I'm primarily a football guy. Uh, I lost my interest a little bit in baseball because it's just, I work a lot, travel a lot. It's just very hard to follow. Well, and games take four and a half hours now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 Red Sox, that's six hours, I think. And yeah. now the game games have kind of turned into this different kind of uh, less interesting, play, you know, pitch to pitch till you get to like postseason ball. So I lost my interest in that a little bit, and I picked up the slack a little bit with hockey. So I used to be the guy that was – I knew everything about college basketball, college football, NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball, you know, even some, uh, you know, cycling, some other weird sports, Olympic sports. I knew all kinds of stuff. Just too busy now. So, like, I, I keep dropping sports. And as I drop sports, I find I get more interested in the ones that I kept. So for me right now, follow uh, – the the NFL overall quite a bit, especially Steelers, and I follow the, the Penguins a lot. You know, I mean they're they're a fun team to follow. So even being here on the West Coast, I pretty much get to see uh, all the Pens games and and all the Steelers games. So I follow that stuff. I, the NBA, you know, it gets interesting later in the year. So um, anyway, that's my uh, very boring story, but I think that's the story of life. It used to be easier to follow all the sports, and now it's you got twenty. 24 7 365 nfl there's no off season there's exactly. no time to like start thinking about your other teams or anything especially with our team do you get to come to pittsburgh a lot uh i was for a while my mom was sick uh for the last few years she passed away last april and now we're there dealing with her stuff which is one of those things with everybody out there who's who's lost a parent you know exactly how that goes she was in the house she lived in the same house from 1950 onward. So another 30 years of coming back to Pittsburgh, I should have it all sorted out. Oh, uh, yeah, my, my great aunt just uh, died around the same time. And she was 94 and she lived, her and her sisters never married and lived in the same house for even long. I mean, even long, yeah, even longer than that, like the 40s. Wow. Yeah, that's a, that's, it's just a, it's a big task. So the answer is I was coming you know, every holidays, a couple times throughout the year, I spent when my mom was sick near the end there. The last couple of years, I spent about nine months of 18 in Pittsburgh. So that was the most I'd spent since I moved away. I moved away a long time ago, 88. Uh, but the last two or three years, I spent a lot of time in Pittsburgh. Um, so it's a little weird. This year is the first Christmas I didn't go. And, uh, you know, so it's it's dwindling now. It'll be a, a faded memory soon, unfortunately. Uh-huh. 